Guys, listen to me. You want to be a grandmaster closer? Grand. Okay, we don't play checkers. We play chess. You guys ready? Here we go. We're going to play chess right now. I'm going to close the deal. I'm going to kind of move at an easy pace. And Sam, you're going to be my customer. Is that cool? Bring it. Let's do cool. it. I'm on. Cool, cool. We're just going to roll. And I'm going to close you at $5.99. Right. I'm going to close you at $5.99. All, right. All right, here we go. We'll see. Sam, I ain't, I ain't worried about that. I ain't even worried about it. Sam, you're a smart guy. That's why you're going to do this. All right. So it's $5.99 a month, Sam. And remember this, Sam, you want to be at $3.50 a month, not a penny more. Fair? $3.50. Okay. And you're paying 250 now. Yep. Okay. So everybody, do me a favor. Just do me a favor. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, t I'm gonna. Usually, I don't tell in advance, but I want to tell them in advance, Sam. I'm not just gonna pull the rabbit out of the hat. I'm gonna tell them what I'm gonna do. Everybody, write this down. Three steps. Step number one. How much money does Sam want to pay more a month in payment? A hundred dollars. Hundred bucks. Write down step one. Sam will give me a hundred more for a new car. Just write that down. And don't, don't get this confused. Don't get lost in the sauce here. He'll give me a hundred more. Step two, Sam, you slide your debit card every single week for gasoline in the Honda Pilot. Oh, okay. That's true, I do. Yep, step two, write down gas. Just don't forget it. We're gonna put gas expense. Okay, now follow me. I'm gonna show you the, the, the simple method, how I closed every deal when I was younger and nobody knew how I would do it, okay? Step three, right? Warranty, what does that mean? Maintenance. Guys, it costs a lot of money to maintain a car that's out of warranty. My car currently has a warranty. Even though the monthly payment might be going up, the ownership cost is gonna be going down. Maintenance. Now listen, the most important thing that I need you to understand is the way that I communicate with Sam as I'm closing him right now. Hey guys, what's going on? It's Andy. A lot of you leave comments telling me that you need help. Do me a favor, I'm gonna tell you the best way to get a hold of me. Shoot me a text message right now, 918-210-0254. 918-210-0254. I'll help you with whatever you need. I got your back for life. Let's get back to the video. And by the way, I'm just communicating. That's all I'm doing. Whoever in the room can communicate the best and have the best up-to-date method and strategy that doesn't sound like their competition, that sounds like the trusted advisor, that believes they can get knee to knee, is going to close every cell. And for my closers that are in the room, you already know, you're like, dude, this guy, he, he's got it. I already know it, that's exactly right. I'm gonna touch you up right now. We're gonna really make sure we take you to another level. But for anybody that's in the room that's not just killing it, here's your chance, okay? So, so Sam, here we go. I'm gonna, I'm gonna walk through the pencil with you. It's gonna be very simple. Hey Sam, great news, 599, sign here. I'll get your new car cleaned up. We're just gonna skip through it. Um, just tell me you can't afford it and tell me what payment you can do. Hey, you know what? Right now I'm paying 250. I, I absolutely can't go any more than 350, man. That's 100 bucks more than what I'm paying. Hey, hey Sam, number one, I totally understand. I completely get it. So what I'm gonna do, Sam, is I'm gonna write the $100 more that you can afford for a new car right here. Is that fair? Okay, cool. Now, Sam, by the way, I don't know what your worksheets look like, but I would normally flip the paper over. Okay, like flip it over. I'm on the back side now. Okay, I wrote 100 more at the top, step one. All right, cool. So, Sam, basically, right now, this is your old vehicle. This is your new one. Your old vehicle, you're currently paying 250. The new vehicle is gonna be here. I'll write the payment, but I won't say it. Okay, now, Sam, let me ask you a question. All right, now, in your 2012 Honda Pilot, right, 80,000 miles, what do you roughly spend a week in gas, ballpark? Roughly, what do you spend a week in fuel on your 2012? Seven, 70 bucks. 70 bucks, cool. So, and by the way, gas $6 a gallon. I get it, man. I'm surprised it's not 170, but let's just say it's 70. $70 a week in gas, right here, Sam, see that? $70 a week in gas, there's four weeks in a month. That's $280 a month that you spend in gas. Would you agree, Sam? Yes. Okay, so even if you don't buy my new car right now, you're gonna be spending $280 a month in gas. Cool, Sam, you're currently paying $250 a month to the bank. I'm gonna take the 280 for gas, plus what you're paying on their monthly payment, and it costs you $530 a month right now to currently own your old car. So Sam, even if you don't buy my new car, $530 is the total ownership cost of what it costs to own your old vehicle currently. Would you agree? Yeah, insurance and all that stuff. Yeah, 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 but just for gas and the payment, right? Yep, yep, okay, yep. so Sam, on the new vehicle, wouldn't you agree better gas mileage, less money spent? Yep, it is better gas mileage. Everybody write that down. Notice I quick popped him. Sam, wouldn't you agree better gas mileage, less money spent? He says, yep. I say, cool, Sam. So going to an Optima from a Honda Pilot, we're easily gonna be cutting your fuel in half. 
So on your new vehicle, we're gonna go to $35 a week in gas. Now I'm not the best at math here. What is that? $130 a month in gas, plus we've got a $599 payment that you're gonna pay to the bank. Let's just see what the new car would cost between gas and the monthly payment. Fair, Sam? Yeah. Notice I said fair. I'm not closing them, I'm just communicating with them. Nine, 10, 11, 12, 12, add the one, that's $729 a month to own. So Sam, here's what I know, 729, is how much is it gonna cost a month to own the new car? Okay, and I'm, I'm flipping back. You're currently paying $530 now on your old car yep. between gas and payment. So it looks like, Sam, it's about $199 more, am I right? Yes. Now, Sam, when you came in here today, you told me you could comfortably afford about 100 more for a new vehicle, am I correct? Sam, I'm gonna take the 100 more you said you could afford for a new car. And really, the new car is only about $99 more than what you're actually prepared to pay because of the money we're gonna save in gas. But really, Sam, it's not $100 more. It's not 99 more, do you know why? Because on your old car right now, the national average, what it costs to maintain a vehicle that's currently out of warranty, which your car is out of warranty, it's a 2012, has 80,000 miles. The national average what it costs to maintain a car that's out of warranty is $1,200 a year. Now I'm gonna ask you something, Sam. Do you, know what, do you know what it costs per hour to put a car in the service station? Roughly around $200 an hour, okay? That's what it roughly costs for labor. That's just labor. Now Sam, most customers have their car in the service station for at least three hours. Sam, that's $600 just for labor. Sam, I haven't even added a part in there yet. Let's say you could get a part for $400. Sam, when you walk into the service drive without diagnosing your vehicle, anytime there's a problem, it'll probably cost you a thousand bucks. That's how money spends when a car's out of warranty. But Sam, let's not get into that. I just want you to understand how the service department works. Have you been in there before? Yes. And if you, and if you don't have a warranty, it doesn't matter if something breaks, it's just when it breaks. And when it breaks, if you don't have a warranty, you have to pay for it. Would you agree? Yep. Well, this new car has a full warranty on it. So let's get into that in a second. Now, the national average, what it costs to maintain a vehicle roughly is 1,200 a year on average. So I'm gonna do some simple math, okay? And by the way, Sam, this is a timeline of a year. This is January, this is December. Sam, you're driving down the road, it's in February, the fuel pump goes out. Fuel pump goes out, let's just say it costs $600, which is more than that. Let's just say it was 600. Well, you don't have a warranty, so you pay for it. Then Sam, you drive the car for 10 months, Nothing happens, Sam, look, nothing happens. Sam, look how happy you are. Dude, you're the happiest guy in the world. Then all of a sudden, November, heater core goes out. Gotta have a heater core for the kids because the car's getting cold, $600. Well, Sam, 600 and 600 is 1,200 for the year. Since we're talking about a monthly budget, I'm gonna divide that by 12 months in a year, and that shows me that $100 a month is what you're gonna have to budget for a small maintenance payment when something does break on your Honda Pilot. Now, Sam, we just looked at your vehicle, and we said that it looked like this car was about $99 more than what you're prepared to pay. But it's really not, Sam, because of your $100 a month maintenance payment. As long as my 2021 Kia Optima has a warranty, which it does, it has 10,000 miles, you're covered. Sam, if you're driving down the road in my Kia Optima right now, I don't care what, what the engine costs, but if it went out, how much would it cost you? 10K. I know, but if you had a warranty, what would it cost you? Zero. Bam. So the payment doesn't change. Sam, what you currently have right now is you have a variable payment that goes up and down. Now the monthly payment with the bank stays the same, but the ownership and cost when gas, they go up and down. Sam, what we're doing is that, look, when gas goes to $10 a gallon, your new car is gonna get paid back at the pump where your old car would cost you more. Sam, on this 10,000 mile key Optima, Cars are getting very expensive in service. When something breaks, it's not a matter of if it's gonna break, but when, and when it breaks, you're gonna pay for it if you don't have a warranty, and that's currently the situation you're in. So Sam, it looked like you were gonna pay about $99 more, but since I'm saving you $100 in maintenance, Sam, actually what I'm doing is I'm gonna be saving you a dollar as long, Sam, as my car has a warranty, which it does with 10,000 miles. Secondly, secondly, okay, when gas goes up, 
what happens? My car pays you back at the pump and your car just costs you more. And then also on top of that, Sam, you're in a 2021 Honda Pi, or 2021 Kia Optima. It's got 10,000 beautiful miles. And lastly, remember I told you to write down in the beginning? I said, Sam, you work hard for your money. You put your money in the bank, Sam. And when your money leaves the bank, Sam, that's the real money spent. Sam, if we took me and you out of it right now, and we were to ask your bank account, which car is saving you the most money and is the better buy, it'd tell you to ditch the 2012 Honda Pilot. You're saving a buck with the new one. You love the fact that you're getting a newer vehicle. Vehicles get expensive. Heaven forbid that a, an engine went out on that a 2012 Honda Pilot or something. We didn't even get into a big maintenance cost. We just kept it small it would actually be much more than that. So Sam, congratulations on your new vehicle, 2021 Kia Optima, 10,000 miles. You got the full coverage on the warranty. I'm gonna show you where a service department is when you're done. So when you leave, okay, when you ever have a problem, you just pull it right on in there. We'll give you the VIP deal. Sam, when 10, gas goes to $10 a gallon and all your neighbors are going wah, 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 you're gonna be like, woo! I'm gonna send Andy a birthday card. It ain't even his birthday. Just cause he took care of me. Sam, this is what we do here at the Ziegler Group. I'm grateful for you. I appreciate you. You didn't even have to go up and budget today. You were already spending the money anyways. Congratulations on getting your new vehicle. Hey guys, I just wanna tell you, you're the true one percenters. You made it till the end of the video. Do me a favor, share it with the friend that wants to go to another level. Make sure you like the video, comment below so I know who you are. Set your notifications and then subscribe to the channel. We got daily sales training videos dropping. I'll see you soon.